guys, welcome back. I don't want to. I don't want to alarm you, but we're gonna do another vintage cube draft. Oh fudge! I hate it. Dang it! Dang it! Team Jaybro with 33, 33 trophies. I think he's trophied twice in the past two days. In the past day, since yesterday. I think he was at 31 yesterday. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Oh, it actually, I think it was Mark Hamilton. I think Mark Hamilton did a version of Hold On to the Knights. No, not another cube. If you guys don't want to watch other cubes, please turn off the video. Stop watching the stream. And go do something else. Go play outside. Get a ball. Get a get a hoop. Get a get a get a get an old milk crate, and rig rig a rig a basketball hoop up for yourself, and then have a, have a little outside fun. But if you're here for the sweet vintage cube shenanigans, which you should be, definitely stick around because we're gonna have some sweet vintage cube. Team J Bro probably got two trophies during your last match. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Get a go get a hoop. Go get a stick for your hoop. And, uh, you know, kick get a can. You can kick it down the street. You guys can get a stick and then push a ball with it. You know, you know, you guys, whatever you kids do with your with your hipness, whatever you hip kids do, I'm going to take reanimate because right now we were going to do this uh, Force Grixis reanimator. If you get one of the top reanimate spells passed to you, fifth pack or later, and you're already in black or blue, Force reanimator. So I'll just do that. And then if we still get if we still get a reanimate spell passed to us in the fifth pick or later, we can just take that one too. Underground C? You know me. You down with Underground C? Yeah, you know me. You down with Underground C? Yeah, you know me. Yeah, that's a good one. I like Jace too. I think Jace is very good. Don't get me wrong. I think Jace is good. It lets you discard the big fat idiots. But here's the problem with Jace. It's not an underground sea, bitches. <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> mm. Oh, makeshift mannequin's good, but you know what's even better? Scarab God. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there's also no chance we see an underground sea ever. But Jace, we might see. Scarab God just reanimates things every day. Scarab God wakes up in the morning and he's like, you know what, I'm going to reanimate some things. Hold on to the, the. Do we take show and tell and just like hope it's not a trap? It's got to be a trap. It's always a trap. Because there's nothing really in this pack at all. No. <laughs> if we're Grixis, I guess we could take Pestermite, right? It's literally always a trap. Crucible of World reanimates your lands. Wow, that's actually. You're going real deep. I think Vampire Nighthawk's always good. I'm just going to take Pestermite because it's just good. Ooh, Arcane Artisan's basically reanimating things, right? Oh, Stone. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Where? I'm going to take Umbrella Rights. I think. Yeah, Umbrella Rights is good. It's still, it's still reanimate, right? This guy's really hard to reanimate, guys. I'm not a big fan. Hmm. We can Arcane Art is in it, though, so I'll take it. I don't know if it's great. The Outer Rim Attraction? What the hell is that? That sounds amazing. I don't even know what that is. Uh, da, da, da. Shallow Grave's interesting because if we discard Emrakul 
or you know Ulamog, whatever the hell it's called whatever the city it is whatever we'll take a shallow grave oh rex my reveler is not great but it's not bad if we're grixis none of these other cards are good utamog <laughs> Wow, that is a late. Are you serious with this with this tabling primeval titan? Holy Jesus! Can we actually just be Sultai instead of Grixis? Good lord! You like Freebooter? I'll take Freebooter. It's your it's your step, my dude. Wow, passing a primeval titan. That's unbelievable to me. Ravenous Choops? Yeah, I like a Ravenous Choops. Hold on to the number. Oh, look, the Vampire Nighthawk came back. We got everything we wanted, guys. Oh, that I'll just play this dude. For sure. Third or fourth pick Library of Alexandria and Vintage Cube is just actually a joke. I was mad at everyone else. I would just be like, I have to go now. Oh, light up the stage is not a bad last pick if we are playing this Grixis. Coalition Relic, Demir Signet, which is fantastic. Cryptic Command. We could just be blue-black. Liliana's pretty nice, though, because it does let us discard our things. Well, I like Grixis for Faithless, Ludic, and Bolas. That's my impression of Josh VS. Um, God, it's Cryptic Command, though. Yeah, I think it actually is Lily. This, I'm not a big Liliana fan, but maybe it's Lily here. I, I don't. I still don't think it's great. I don't know, man. Maybe it's me. I'm gonna take it. Oh, Ashiok. Hmm. Ashiok seems very good. <laughs> My friend doesn't like you. I'll oh, be careful. I don't like you either. I have the death sentence on 12 systems. I'll be careful. You'll be dead. I'll take the rest. Oh, grave. Grave tooties. Yeah, we're just taking the grave tooties here. That is a... It's not an exciting card to discard, but it's just a very, very good card to discard. Maybe Iona. Ooh, maybe we re reanimate Iona. I thought I accidentally turned on New Hope. Yeah, I get that a lot. People are like, man, are you just are you Star are you Star Wars and New Hope? I like Sphinx of the Stealing, but I'd rather just have the Dark Slick Shores here. Oh, I actually like... The oh, Thief of Sanity. I'm a Thief of Sanity fan. I'm a Thief of Fanity, if you will, because fan. Because fan fanity. Yeah, we're taking... We're not taking no living death. We don't have enough creatures for living death. Our three drops are pretty sacked.
you sneak attack a scarab god and you're like and back to the hand it goes una's prowler is nice we could also take this batter skull we could also take lava claw reaches um i like prowler because it is another discard outlet but we only have reanimate and unbarrel rights right now yeah we'll just take this we might not be we could be white because of the uh, unbarrel rights this is also fine because we have arcane artisan so whatever i think actually i'm gonna take the languish i like having mass removal in the uh in the reanimate decks, especially if the 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 mass removal doesn't actually kill your guys, like a like a damnation or something. Cabal Ritual, Lodestone Golem, Burning of Zinni. I'll just take the Lodestone Golem. Eh, Lightning Strike is fine. This pack's not super exciting. Yeah, let's do a pack one, pick one Lotus, pack two, pick one recall. I'm okay with it. Wait, you mean pack... Oh, that's you? For some reason, I was thinking pack three, pack one Lotus, pack three, pack two recall. That's what I read. I think I like Inferno Titan over Plague Crafter here. That's insane, dude. Crutch Jr., you're living your best life, buddy. I'll take the Concealed Court Arc so we can just play it and use it as a as a, as a way to splash the, uh, the Unbarrel Rights. And by splash, I mean flash it back. Okay, nothing exciting here, but Hostage Taker, Factor Fiction... I bet if we take Factor Fiction, Hostage Taker comes back. Oh my god, we got the Living Death last pick. I didn't know because they don't actually show you the last pick anymore. They just kind of tuck it in here. And you don't even realize you have it until you're building your deck. I really don't like that change. I think the advantage of shaving like a millisecond is 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 minimal. And the, the disadvantage of actually like missing your last pick is high. Yeah, I'm taking Factor Fiction here. Polluted Delta. If there's no reanimate targets and there's no reanimate spells, I'm just going to take the... Oh, there it is. That's your boy. We did not pack three pick one Lotus, unfortunately. Lodestone Golem, you can leave. Oh, it's a bloom. I get it. I get it. Luteral Core or Mana Leak? Ooh. I do like the looter here. I do like the looter because I want to be able to put things in my graveyard. But we do already have Una's Prowler. I don't think we want Deluge. We already have Languish, which I think is fine. Pestermite can also leave. It's going to be A2 drop for sure. I think I like Leak too. We have Una's Prowler, which I think is good, but Mana Leak provides a little bit of control that we otherwise don't necessarily have. Return the top creature of your guard to the battlefield. I think I actually just want Go for the Throw. I don't think Corpse Dance is actually that good. Corpse Dance gets worse when you have just, like, little dirtly creatures, too, like these guys. Ooh, a Kozilek. Oh, Shieldered, for sure. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, we're gonna Shieldered here. Oh my... Oh my god! I don't actually think we're a recurring Nightmare deck, but on the off chance we can pick up a Bitter Blossom, I think it's pretty good. I'm also gonna take out the Ona, because it's the one card... It's one of the few cards we can't actually cast in this deck. I will take a Phyrexian Arena here. 
And I will actually play that as well. It's pretty good. We actually have no we have no reason to be red here, so. Hero's Downfall is fantastic. Let's take that. All right, we'll tip the, put the Recurring Nightmare over here. We'll take out the Inferno Titan, and we're at 25 cards right now. Please play the Nightmare? All right, I mean, I will, because it's your step, but, like, we don't have anything to sacrifice. Like, we can sacrifice a Chupacabra, but, like, that implies we have... I'm not, we're going to look, and we're going to see how many times it's not that great. Progenitus. Pack three, pick one library. Wow, this deck is insane. Yeah, Ink Eyes can go, I guess. I mean, I don't mind Ink Eyes. You guys are haters. Rakdos Return, it's basically... Um, mind Twist. Shallow Grave, I really just don't like that much. I mean, it's a good way to play Ulamog, I guess. Discard Ulamog, Shallow Grave it. That's actually not terrible. It's a three-card combo. Two, we need two cuts. I really don't think this is good. Chad, check it out. We got Shieldred and we got Ashiok. So. I definitely don't want to sack an Artisan of Kozlek because then we lose the creatures. So that's not ideal. I also don't want to sack Freebooter to give them their cards back. I also don't think sack... I, like, none of those creatures are actually creatures I want to get rid of, though. I mean, we'll play it, but... I'm not... 100% about it. I'll tell you that. I'm probably cutting Nighthawk. See, we're cutting the Nighthawk because I have to cut things here, so I'm not sure. Probably cut the Duress. We just board that guy in. Right, but that also means we have to have Gristlebrand or Shielder in the graveyard. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, five, six, seven, eight. We'll see. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six. This is nine, eleven. I think that's probably good. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm actually, I mean, I like running Languish in the main deck because I feel like there's like a lot of things that you can just like, there's a lot of decks you can just get. <sighs> well, this hand's terrible. Bobby Weiser, check out my Twitch profile. There's a link that you can just email me at frank at franklapore.com. Oh, Challen Progenitus. That's a... Yeah, this is why I went Languish. You're viewing it right now. Joke's on you, MeUndies are pants. <laughs> um, all right, well, let's just go Kite Sail Freebooter. Let's see what you got here. See what kind of degeneracy you're working with. Uh, that sword has got to go. Thank you. Oh, Beast Within is good. Dragosi, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. So next turn they can play the sword. We don't really have an answer for it. We'll just take the sword. 
and it reveals them twice, so they know how beast, Garak, sword, more fellows, and mystic, and tooth. Okay, well, so now they just go land or fellows next time they tooth and nail and kill us. That's cool. Oh, we can eat it with Ashiok, though. That's nice. We're going to have to do that now. All right, so now they have Beast Within, Garrick, Primal Hunter. No blocks. Yeah, otherwise they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and if they hit any land. Hydroid Crassus. And we hit a Knight of Autumn? That's pretty good. Crassus. Beast within that guy, huh? Okay. Yep, and they go sword, equip sword, kill Ashiok. Seems good. I mean, ideally, if they just attack us instead, that'd be great. They did not. So your hand is Garrick, Crassus. You're going to draw on Elspeth. Seems good. Might as well attack. Can't block. Master. Oh, now they can play Garrick. Draw four. That's busted. At least we get to discard Gristle Ran. I mean, if we could just hit a Reanimate next turn, that'd be great. But then they just probably kill us, right? We take eight plus five and five. Yeah, we'd be dead. We do get to get a Thief of Sanity and play it. Or maybe something else. What is this? Oh, it's just Crassus? Sure. That's pretty good. Uh, Knight is not in the graveyard. Knight is in the exiled zone. So, yep, that's pretty good. Forest. Titan. What the hell is this deck, dude? Double white. Blue. <laughs> red. <laughs> like, what is going on? Unbarrel rights one time. That is an island. Yep, we're just going to go to the next game. We're basically dead here. Wow, can you imagine uh, Languish? I actually do like Living Death here, <laughs> ironically enough. Same thing with Nighthawk, but I'm going to take out the Nightmare. I'm going to take out the Kite Sail Freebooter as well. Uh, I kind of like Freebooter, I guess. Submit with 41.
These hands have been really bad. Sure. YouTube addict of yours right here. <laughs> nice. Coarser again? Man, always with the coarser of prefix. Witness. I just ripped three lands off the top and they hit another one. All right, Crassus. That is unfortunato. And we have another island. I think we need to cut one island and put another. Yep, that guy's that guy's frightening. I would say let's draw languish, but we don't have a second black yet, so Wow, we've hit five lands and a and a Crassus so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You already have eight mana next turn. Draw a forest and you have a witness in hand. Or a plains, rather. We'll see what you draw and determine if we're going to kill this Rafellos. Yeah. Alright, Corsa doesn't do anything here. Rafellos is very scary. the card on top sword planes gone witness sun titan can a dude get a black source the answer is no six seventy nine ten so sword is gone they're gonna draw forest and Garrick on top which I guess we're gonna get rid of unless they do some shenanigans they have nothing in the graveyard which is nice we know they have witness and forest in hand Shiox did. So. And Forest is gone. Uh, 
that's pretty frustrating. I mean, we can sneak in a Chupacabra here. They're going to play Garrick and draw six. So in response, I'm pretty sure we're going to put in Chupacabra and kill the Sun Titan with the trigger on the stack, so... No, dude, Josh, this is literally just... This has nothing to do with you, my dude. Alright, so you drew Forest. You played Forest. What was on top? What did I just miss? Oh, Garrick. Sure. Slime. Do I just Grave Titan and block? No. We want a Chupes here. If we play Grave Titan, we can block with a token, but that still gives them a 7-7. Seven, seven, which means they still get to Garrick and draw 7 cards, which is pretty nuts. If we block with the Grave Titan, then that's just sad. Yep, that is fine. So they have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they can't play both things, which is nice. 10, 11, 12, yes they can. I'm an idiot. Oh, that seems like a mistake. They drew Slime Forest. And then they play Slime. That's interesting. Yep. That's pretty rude. Hey guys, I found a swamp. <laughs> uh, good times. Well, the Garrick is gone. So is the Witness. So now they have Forest Titan in hand. Okay. Well, I'm all right with that. What was the top card? Do you remember? I forgot to write it down because it's really hard to keep track of like Corsair of Crufix slash Oracle of Moldia things. Yeah, I definitely don't want them to go Sun Titan and get back Ewit, so. Not doing that. What is this land tap from? Untapping the Mana Vault? Sure. Well, they played a Forest. I can assume that's gone. We know they have Titan. Atarka's coming up. And there was one other card. I forgot what it was.
I'm pretty sure we're going to reanimate the acidic slime and kill their forest, their plains, rather. Mm hmm. And they don't have red, right? Oh, we can also kill the Courser? No, then they just get it back with Sun Titan. Yeah, we'll just kill the planes. Tooth and Nail. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, so we know they have Titan and Atarka in hand. And that. Okay, that I think that was the card that was on top. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. I don't really feel a need to discard anything here. I don't think Heroes Downfalling Rafelos does anything, right? Like, they still have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. 12, 13 mana. Even if not, though, it's still 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They still have 10. Like, they have 10 mana outside of Rafelos, and I th think that's a pretty ridiculous amount. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Black Lotus. <laughs> That's gas, dude. Tropical Island. Okay, well, they still can't cast Sun Titan. Or a Tarka, but they could just toot the Nelda. Yeah. That's good. So Lotus is not an option anymore. This is where they just get Emrakul. And then we just die because they take their extra turn and kill us. Oh, we can put in Nighthawk and block it. Oh, that's gas. And then we have enough zombies to actually make a difference. What two cards? Containment Priest and Crater Hoof Behemoth. Okay. That's fascinating. Oh, and we're going to combat here. Yeah, their Eternal Witness and a Six Slime in the Graveyard are actually significantly good for them. Why didn't they put... Oh my god, he said FML. Wow, that's brutal, dude. Oh, they just conceded. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, because you you put... You, if you put Containment Priest in, you can't put... Can you not put Crater Hoof? Yeah, the Crater Hoof got exiled because of the the Containment Priest. Oh, that's hilarious. Hilarious! Thank you! Metathon, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. I mean, we haven't seen Shieldred or Gristlebrand in, in a way that really uh, benefits us yet. I like Iona on red. Or green. Or blue. Green. Green was the one we're going for.
Uh, snap keep. <laughs> Snappest of keeps. Oh, wow. They opened on Sacred Foundry. Yep. All right. So this is good. What up, McGimp? Three's company too. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Come and knock on Artisan of Kozilek. Artisan of Kozilek? Artisan, arcane artisan of Kozilek, maybe? Oh, that's rude. Now you're just being rude. Well. That's so sad. This is still a pretty good dream, though. Phyrexian Arena seems pretty good, unless they go land Acidic Slime. That's, that's just sad. Okay, that's fine with no duders on board. What do you got here? Lotus and two lands. <laughs> hey, seem pretty good, huh? All right. So you got forest in hand. Psh, 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 psh. Draw. Ugh, that's dumb. That's stupid. I'm not having a good time anymore. Have I done my step? No, not not yet. Because your steps are always very specific. So I wait till I kind of get it. I'm just like, all right, let's see if we can get the this denied them all the man. All right, so you have literally uh, forest in hand. Now you played the forest. Is this uh, is uh, is this a joke? Well, boys, I guess we're living death. I'm gonna, don't apologize for that. You're awesome, Crutch Junior. You're great, buddy. Yeah, you got it. So we now have Lotus in hand. Chad, this one's for you, buddy. Do me a favor and sacrifice one creature. I sent you a step earlier, not sure if you missed it or just saw it and thought absolutely not. It was the latter I under uh no, I didn't see it. I must have missed it. Remember when Josh was like, I'm sorry my stip sucks, and I'm like, buddy, we're gonna win this match. Listen, my friend. It can be any creature you want. Just one is all that's required. <laughs> Look, I'm only asking to sacrifice one creature. Do I say good games? I don't know. I'm not going to. I don't want to be that guy. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't... I, I 71 shielded bits, all I have at the moment. Good enough. Uh, I'm actually going to cancel out of that. I want to I want to add one more swamp and one less mountain. And by mountain, I mean... Sometimes just name whatever color or land comes to mind. And that's what you get. Sorry, guys. Deal with it. I'm still not a fan of this recurring number. I don't think we have enough ways to get these guys in the graveyard. That's my that's my opinion. And uh, if we lose, it's because of you. I said it. <sighs> Power trumps all, lands trump all. Before each pick, spin a color wheel. For whatever the wheel lands on, you have to pick that color card or the color to the left or right. Holy shit. I think you're just like, I'm going to come up with the most ridiculous thing I can think of. Yeah, this one's fine. Mm, I'll bottom that. 
Hopefully it's just a creature matchup that we can languish all their things away. Oh, planes is a good start. I have to figure out a way to make that work. I also have to figure out... I guess that's all I have to figure out. That's really it. Okay, I can languish that idiot. Stop calling their creatures idiots. Sort of body and mind, huh? Okay. So you got four cards, and it's everything above planes. There we go. I'll play a planes. Are you thinking of playing this Nykthos? What's better, Nykthos or a plane? Planes into Brightlink. You got it. No blocks. Sweet gristle brand, ba ba da, gristly brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think you can. Um... Yeah, you can make it. Making it random ahead of time is also fine. Like pick one red, pick two green, pick three black, whatever. Uh, that's a that's better. Why not just has him to drive blind and upside down using his toes on the mouse? Uh, we have one concealed courtyard in the deck for uh, for Barrel Rights flashback. Alternatively, we can just cast it. This guy's going to die with a languish anyway, so we're hoping they just play something not walking with us, like a big fat idiot. We'll block, keep Liliana alive, do the thing. Oh, this is nice. They did not utilize their walking barista. Oh, just won it? I guess we're going to block here, and I'll take three. Yeah, that seems fine. You can have your stupid sword back. I don't even care. I don't care. Nick those so we have walking ballista. That guy for two. All right, we don't know anything anymore. All our information is gone. You can do whatever you like. Let's play a land. L -l -l languish you got it you got it I figured they'd kill Liliana here for sure now we're just going to discard Grave Titan any land lets us play Unburial Rights which gets us Gristle Brand which uh, realistically should allow us to uh, win the game. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Oh, draft me mama with a color wheel. Draft me mama to pay Frank's bills. If you decide this is too hard, consider my investment. With the... Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll just email back and forth until we get until we get it locked down. All right, bells and lock. Well, I guess we're gonna keep discarding here. All right, they have no card. Wow, that's a good card to get rid of if we're planning on bringing Grizzly B back. 
also whatever creature they play we just get to kill it oh this game this game's over yeah just keep yeah just keep both these i'm fine we good yep if they just keep playing lands and we just keep drawing cart oh that's a good one I left and now I'm back. I like it. I like it. Tithe Taker. Uh, they did not forget about Scrounger, they just don't have any black mana. So. Oh, they didn't equip that guy. They might have F6. Let's get Grizzly B back. So here's the thing. If they happen to draw a removal spell, I uh, don't really want them to attack and and deal us a million and get back in the game. So we're going to protectively Liliana here. Good game. Oh, G, 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 G. He's... <laughs> It was not GG's, it was BG's. Okay. We can live the Shallow Grave Ulamog dream. One, two, and then we can actually still... Um... Yeah, let's we'll play land. Oh, but we're gonna we're gonna shuffle away our unbarrel rights now, which is unfortunate. Still fine. Yeah, we're going to wait to see what they sacrifice before we... Yeah, you don't have to, uh... You don't have to hold control because it's going to be another trigger, so... And now they're in a position where they can't actually flash this back, so... Seems fine. Oh, burner, 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 burner. Again, I think living death is probably okay here. I also think Iona is probably better than uh, Ulamog. I'm gonna keep taking this recurring nightmare out. I'm gonna keep taking it out. It's, it's, it's trash. I do like Nighthawk. Nighthawk's basically a removal, but it's too late now. Oh, uh, keep. It's a little slow, but it's got all the colors we need. It's got a factor fiction. That guy's aggressive. And now we have a second blue. Let's get Una's Prowler into reanimate. I think if you reanimate Iona and you're just like red. And by red I mean white. See what I mean? I just say whatever color comes to mind and then it's done. Okay, that that could be insane. I 
I was I wasn't shuffling. I was actually organizing it in such a way that's like land three drop, land four drop, land six drop, nine drop. It was actually I like to order my hand um, in the order I'm going to play the cards. So oh boy, am I hoping they stop ruining my narrative? <laughs> that's not canon. Just tap out. Oh my god, you're so rude. The rudest of dudists. Languish. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm gonna get rid of this guy because once I can't trade with that guy, I can trade with these two idiots. So good. So good. They can get this guy back, but if they want to play something, that's their that's their turn, basically. Oh, it's not their turn. Oh, we're actually dead here. Yeah, they just get back this guy and they kill us. Alright, so we're definitely bringing in Nighthawk. Probably for Bells and Lock. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> You're like, nope, that'll do. Yep. All right. I'll keep this hand. We're on the play. God, this guy's a real pain in my butthole. He's a pain in my butthole. Looking for an Unis Prowler or a Liliana here. And we are going to actually shuffle to... That's never happening. We can also reanimate this, but then like it still doesn't block Student of Warfare very well, so. Liliana. Go for the throat's fine. Mm-hmm. I think if we can just keep them off of threats, we're actually in great shape. So I'm going to go for the threat this guy. All right. Well, we're just on the track to hard casting this Grave Titan, I guess. Here comes Hero of, Down Hero of Blade Hold, and then we're just like, well, oh, we're dead. That's, that's a little bit better. Yeah, I guess we're just grave tightening here. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh, they didn't do anything.
Don't mana tide me. Whew, feeling good. Don't path to exile, my guy. Path incoming. No tide, please. Woo. Uh, we could free boop, but then like, and we can't play this guy. So I mean, like. Sure. That's good. Just take eight in the air. Wow. <sighs> I got it all. Languish one time. Let's languish. Living death. Languish. Una's Prowler. Not great. Two planes. Okay. Well, put out a bunch of blockers, I guess. One planes. Still, still on board for languish here. Still on board for living death. Still alive, guys. We're still alive. One time. Cool. Eh, it's still, still relatively close. I don't feel terrible about that match. This is fine. This is just a reasonable hand. Oh, and we accidentally mulliganed. Oh, fuck. You made the cut as one and only. See in quotes. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Wow, this hand is so much worse. I mean, Thief of Sanity, not too bad. All right, well, if they don't have an answer to a 2-2, I think we're good. Okay. Let's hope that's all that they have. Let's hope that they don't have, like, Sundering Titan here. That would be really sad. Well, that's unfortunate. That taps everything. But they have one card. One, two, three, four. That's it, right? Can I untap? Okay, well, I guess. This 
Smokestack is in the cube, yes. Oh my, I don't think they have anything here. Oh my god. So good, so good. Oh, this is a connect. I guess we'll take Gilded Lotus. Not super exciting, but... Man, we totally just... We kind of helped them there, actually. Oh! Uh. Hold on one second, just responding to something. <whistles> oh, here we go. All right, game ended. They got something. They did it. Oh, they didn't do it. Maybe they did it. Night's Whisper, that's not really doing it, but it's kind of like doing it. Oh, they got 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. <laughs> Jesus. Totally reasonable. I see. This is the lily of the veil. Oh, 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 yeah. Yep, that's what I was assuming you get, because that plays around lots of things. <laughs> Mana Vault, sure. All right, looking for Hero's Downfall. Monitor seems great for us. Upheaval seems terrible for, for us. So I guess that's an easy choice. Let's go Dark Slick. Let's Demonic Tutor and figure out what we can get here that's good. So they're going to go to one, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have five mana to work with. I think it's just Chupacabra here. Could also get go for the third and play Liliana as well. There's going to be any Modern Brewing with the new cards today? What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. Like, there's no new cards on Magic Online or anything yet, so it's not like we can, can't really play it. Um, yeah, go for the Throat's Not Artifact. We'll just get Chupacabra here. And we will hope that we don't die from this 12 damage. I'm just going to have six here. Hold on, I keep getting... I'm, I think it's the same person calling me. I think they're trying to... Sure,
All right, so we're gonna tap one black. Done. That's fine. Get in there again. <laughs> Guess we'll take the good land. <laughs> One, two, three, four, choops. Play our land. A reanimate battle sphere, die immediately. Sounds good. <laughs> How would you pronounce that? Goalie R Y A H 5. Hello, this is Goalie R Y A H A 5 calling to see if you'll do. Insert stupid stip here. Please call us back at your earliest convenience. Have a good day. Thank you. Gimpy, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. All right. Oh, I thought they were going to... Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want that anyway. I thought they were going to deal us damage. Because then we go to... Wait, did they deal us damage? Oh, they did two modes, right? Yeah, they discarded Burning and Mox. So they did deal us damage. Yikes. Alright, well... One, two, three, four, five. We are one shy of Scarab Godding and getting something back like Chupacabra. Which would leave us with three blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... We are at one. So we can go Scarab God Liliana and then have three blockers, but that doesn't do anything either. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yep, we are. I mean, if we could hit... Yeah, there's no... I don't know what we can hit here, but we have to try, I guess. Wow, they do nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Oh. <laughs> oh yeah boy oh man <laughs> yeah i was also like wow Del deluge does it but we're at literal one. Oh man sphinx boy i guess we're hoping they don't top deck Come on, no top deck. The first strike is irrelevant too, because we can first strike. To, actually, the lifelink doesn't matter. Oh, they hit a land. They're dead. Vigilance is good. Oh, you're dead. My dude. My man. Sweet buttery Robochroma. Oh yeah, let's go back up to seven because that's what daddy, that's what father likes. And I'm just gonna get to see your whole deck. I think this is nice. Yeah, I'll take a Duretti. Mom's spaghetti. Good to go. Man, Thief of Sanity doing some doing some heavy lifting here. Man, 
Man, and this was the game we accidentally mulliganed to. Oh, they got Talarian Academy. That's nice. Oh, man. Sphinx of the Steel Wind when we actually... Don't you have a Cool Stuff Inc. promo? Yeah, it's Frank5. You can go to CoolStuffInc.com and use promo code Frank5 and you get 5% off. Can you imagine? Well, that's pretty good. I guess you're exiling Sphinx. This is why we didn't want to get too lazy, too complacent with our... I will block. That was a good top deck. It's a very good top deck. Two at, two at Chiliana. I mean, we're still going to get one of these dudes off the board, so. One, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. You can actually just Scarab God and play multiple things here. Blue, black, black. We can get back Chupacabra and we can get back uh, Mirror Battle Sphere. So attack your face because I don't care. Oh, I'm not playing Bells and Lock. That's insane. I'll just double. I'll just double Scarab God. Let's go to game. Let's go to game. Game two, my friend. Take a look. It's in a book. Go to game two. They conceded. Seems good. Bunch of artifact nonsense. Yikes. Definitely bringing in duress. Iona seems decent on against blue, but nah, not really, I guess. Oh. <sighs> Living death doesn't seem great. Languish actually doesn't seem that great. <laughs> Maybe Living Death is decent, I don't know. I mean, we could discard Progenitus and then Living Death them. I don't hate that. Oh, no, this guy, this guy, that never works. This guy gets shuffled in. Never mind. <laughs> Should we just splash for Eureka and put all of these in? We can just put all of, all of these guys in. And then we'll take out a bunch of black and blue and just add two green. I don't think Ink Guys is that great. Like, we saw one creature in their entire deck. Thank you. I also think Go for the Throat is pretty shit, so. I'm gonna bring in, I will bring in the Living Death just because it's a good way to deal with the, um, the Mere Battle Sphere. Yeah, I think that's fine. As a little design, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm going to keep this hand. Uh, Ravenous is fine because it does kill Mirror Battle Sphere. Show me what you got. Karn Liberated, Duretti is good, Thran Dynamo is good, Tinker is probably your best card here, everything else kind of sucks. Well, Duretti is pretty obnoxious. You don't actually have a blue mana though. Do I give, do I give a shit about Duretti? Not really, right? And if you hit a fourth land, you just go Thran Dynamo into Karn, right? Whereas right now you can't even cast Tinker. Tinker. 
I don't think it is Tinker. Like, their only artifact right now is Thran Dynamo. So they have to, like, play Thran Dynamo and play... But we saw, like, most of their deck. The only artifact we really care about is is literally Mirror Battle Sphere. And it's going to take them a lot of work to get there because they need a blue source. They need an artifact that comes down before turn four. And then they still play this on turn five. Yeah, Doretti does make artifacts, sure. I think Karn is actually a little bit scarier because we don't have any pressure right now, so... I think the Karn is scarier than the Tinker. I don't know, though. Like, they're just going to go turn 4 Thran Dynamo into turn 5 Karn, right? Is that worse than turn 3 Doretti into turn 4 Mirror Battle Sphere? These two go together, and these two kind of go together. Especially because they don't have a blue source. Yeah, I'm going to take this. Whatever. I don't think it's great, but it's frustratingly... Like... I think all their cards are good, and all their cards are going to be some some level of, of problematic, so. I think Karn is scarier than Tinker, but it's also, it's not going to come down until turn 5-ish, so. Here comes Doretti, Mom Spaghetti. Making an artifact, and now you are ready. Okay, now we're talking. That's a good one. Grim Monolith, Boros Signet, Swamp. Well, now they get to go Thran Dynamo. Next turn they get to Karn, so... That's rough. Oh, they hit an island, so... The Tinker would have been good here. It would have hit uh, Mirror Battle Sphere. So yeah, either way, I think I think we I think we chose correctly. But Tinker also hits Sphinx of the Steel one, yeah. Thran Dynamo. Play an artifact you drew? No, okay. Three more lands. Well, they're gonna car in the Ashiok, presumably, so that's sad but that's going to be their turn and we get to factor fiction figure out what we're going to do it's your boy so now we know nothing else man don't be don't be exiling my Ashiok. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Pick it. Pick it. Show me what you got. Man, this fight this freebooter a turn too late. I guess they could have directed and killed it anyway, but still. This is where they're just like, take all five. I don't know how to split this. And I'm like, cool beans, my dude. Cool beans. I actually think I take the bottom pile, right? Like, I don't care about Freebooter. They kill it. Artisan's nice, but they can kill all our creatures because of the Doretti right now.
how all the other cards go into your yard uh, with fact or fiction. Oh, you mean how will they go? Like what order? I don't think you get to... I guess you can choose. Well, unfortunately, they are not in the correct order. I mean, what we could do is Shallow Grave Artisan of Kozilek, discard Shieldred, and kill Karn. It's not as good. One, two, three, one, two. And then we can actually still reanimate Bells Unlock. We could also kill Duretti. Well, I don't want to end of turn make Shieldred. Because you, you get to choose. You can choose any order. I think I just clicked any order. I don't want to end of turn shoulder because it gets haste. So I'd rather just... Oh, we can't. We can't reanimate this. It's not in the graveyard. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> Uh, we cannot shallow grave demon lord. It says return to the top creature card of your graveyard. Oh, we were gonna we were gonna get arcane artist. It never mind. But I don't want to discard it because I want to be able to kill these creatures right now, right? So like, oh no, we'd be one shy because we shallow grave get this. We play our land, we activate it, and then we can't reanimate till next turn. We get to kill one of these. Uh, it's so bad. Artisan doesn't discard it exiles, yeah, so it's not giving haste. I don't know why I'm thinking that they both get haste. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like I'm like in a zone. I'm trying to figure out this is actually a complicated turn. I think we're just gonna reanimate the Demon Lord Bells and Lock and see what happens. We're gonna draw one land. Ah it's not too bad. So they're probably going to Duretti kill this. And then they're going to Karn this, maybe? Or just make us lose a card? Yeah, we'll just plus. They also have Lava Claw Reaches, let's not forget. So they can actually go directly make a sack this. Activate Lava Claw Reaches. They could just almost kill us with Lava Claw Reaches. One, two, three to activate, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a lot. Yes, I'm 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 quite aware of the end of turn reanimate. Yep, but now the Shieldred can't come back from the Shallow Grave, which is pretty obnoxious. I mean, we still get to kill Duretti, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Can't do both, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Hero's Downfall would be nice. Let's Hero's Downfall.
yeah, let's take Nightmare out for Vampire Nighthawk. We just don't have enough creatures on the board. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, we don't have enough creatures in this deck to, like... Like, at any point, like, we either have a creature on board or we have a creature in the graveyard, but it's been very rare that we've had both. Shut up and take my money! Keep! Did you know seven plus blue equals pickle? That is what my six-year-old just told me. That sounds correct. I'm no expert, but I, I I think that's correct. And I appreciate the donation to let me know. We did one. We did win round two. We are now one one. No, we lost round two, but we won round one. That's what happened. Yeah, round two, we got crushed by the mono white deck, I think. I don't know what's going on. Do the thing. Play your land. Winter Orb. Oh, Grim Monolith. That's exciting. This is exciting. So you got four mana? Okay. I'm just mana leaking in this. Give me a big fat idiot to put in the graveyard. Well, that is a big fat idiot to put in the graveyard, I guess. We're just going to play this, though, and end of turn. Ulamage. Hope you don't kill my arcane artisan. Doot, 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 doot. They have three cards and four mana. I like me odds. Okay. Three mana. And a winter orb. Seems good. Well, that's pretty annoying. Oh, boy. I'll untap my Grimmy McMonolith. Eight mana. They have black, white, blue for Sphinx of the Steel in. That's a Duretti. It's obnoxious because now they can just kill this. Yep. Sack Thran Dynamo to do that? Oh no, we countered that. What did they sack? Hmm, sure. This game is just not even fun with the stupid f fucking winter orb.
upheaval. I'm having a good time. Really? Whatever, like it matters. <laughs> mm hmm. It's actually pretty good. I mean, I really don't foresee uh, factor fiction being relevant here, I'll be honest. We're going to be four turns before we can actually cast it, or others have Lily honestly can separate their permanents into. Like, we can actually get rid of Winter Orb and Duretti in the same pile. Um, but they do have Lava Claw Reaches for next turn, which is obnoxious. They just go black, red. These two attack Liliana. I don't know what you could... One, two, three, four. That's actually pretty good. I think they're going to kill Liliana now. Like you do. Yep. Maybe instead they just untap this. That'd be great. Let's do that. Well, we were close. We're a turn off of everything. We're a turn off of Arcane Artisan. They they had Duretti instead. We're a turn off of Liliana. -ing. Like, it's literally... That's the most frustrating thing about Magic sometimes is like that we're like one turn off of everything that we want to do. And it's like, because you're so close. Every time you're so close. You're like, I can almost come back. I can almost claw my way back into this game. But every single, like, moment after moment after moment where you're like, you could kind of turn around, you're one turn behind. I don't think this match was that close at all. <laughs> I think the game we won, we won by the skin of our teeth, and then the following two games, we wouldn't even get to play. Like, last game, we didn't even get to play. And this game, like... I mean, Grave Titan's great and all, but then they just sack, like, Construct, kill Grave Titan. So, I mean, Duretti's really powerful if you can sit behind, like, 13 artifacts and never have to do anything. It's a weird... I guess you're going to play the two things you drew. Well, there you go. That explains it. Yep. 
perfect draw. Hits land, mana vault, gets exactly enough to kill Liliana. Like, it's very, very good. Theoretically, it was a misplay that we didn't discard Ulamog anyway with the Artisan of Kozlek just to draw the card. Because not only would we have had an extra card in our hand, but we also would have not drawn Ulamog this turn. So, you know, little column A, little, little column A, little column B, I guess. But uh, what can we do? Una's Prowler. Did they not attack? I mean, can't they just negative six? Choose an artifact, make three copies of it. They put three mere battle spheres on the play on the on the, on the, on the, on the onto the battlefield. I mean, we could also draw something like reanimate. Uh, we could have hit that sooner. I mean, it doesn't really do anything. Again, they just kill it with Doretti. So. really interesting choose an artifact in a graveyard or artifact on the battlefield create three tokens that are cut why wouldn't you choose me a battle sphere there that's really weird and they sacrifice the mana vault instead of one of the constructs i guess that's i guess that makes sense but like i don't understand why you wouldn't put three mirror battle spheres onto the battlefield i don't know what my out would be to that like that's all like, like that's the most one turn clock I've ever seen. This is very strange. <laughs> two two when they play. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna scoop here. Like I, I I don't know why they didn't just win the game there. This is really weird. I don't think they're toying with us, I just don't think they saw it. Like anyway, unfortunate. Not a big fan of... I mean, I'm just not a fan of losing the game to things like Winter Orb. Scarab God would have been good. We would have untapped the land next turn. We would have had four, five, six, seven. We wouldn't be able to do both. But then again, they just play Duretti and kill it, and then our land is tapped. So, like, the combination of Lockdown with Duretti and Winter Orb is pretty brutal. But, um, yeah, I think our, our, I think we just didn't have some of the main components for Reanimator, which is, you know, it's it, it that happens. Josh, thank you for the support. Either way, I really appreciate it. Um... Slam those like and subscribe buttons, I guess. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, meundies.com slash franklapore and mandatraders.com. You can find all of those links and promo codes in the description below. And I uh, really appreciate the support, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.